What's up, Roto Ballers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan Hill, and with week five officially underway, it's time to set those fantasy lineups for Sunday and Monday's games. We're going to be taking a look at Roto Ballers' consensus half PPR rankings, and I'll highlight a few players along the way that might surprise this week. As always, starting with our quarterbacks, at number 11, we have Jordan Love. Love is currently the fantasy QB3 in his first full season as a starter. Although he struggled a bit against Detroit last week, we're expecting a big showing against the Raiders on Monday night. The Raiders have allowed the 8th most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks so far this season. Love may not quite yet be a locked-in starter every week, but if you're streaming the position, he looks like a really solid option for Week 5. Moving up two spots to number 9, we have Trevor Lawrence, who hasn't lived up to the hype yet this year, and has only turned in one performance in which he's finished as a top 10 fantasy QB. Unfortunately, he might have a difficult time again this Sunday against the Buffalo Bills, who have allowed the fewest points to fantasy quarterbacks in 2023. Still, this contest has a healthy projected point total, with the over-under sitting around 48 and a half, so Lawrence is still a decent option, and you shouldn't go out of your way to bench him for someone on waivers. Already sneaking his way into our top five is Anthony Richardson. The electric rookie is currently the QB4 in fantasy points per game, and this week he'll get a divisional matchup against the Tennessee Titans, who have allowed the 10th most passing yards in the NFL so far this year. While you can always depend on Richardson to get it done with his legs, expect him to show out through the air this week as well. Now looking at running backs, we have another rookie to talk about with Devon Achan coming in at number 11. Achan is currently the fantasy RB3, despite missing week one entirely and getting just two total touches in week two. On Sunday, Achan will face the New York Giants, who have struggled against fantasy running backs so far this season and have allowed at least one rushing touchdown in every game. It's unclear at this point what the split between Achan and Raheem Mostert is going to look like going forward, but still, Achan's ability to score on any given play puts him in must-start territory. At number five, we have David Montgomery, who is fresh off of a three-touchdown performance in which he handled 34 total touches. We expect the Lions to dictate the tempo once again in Week 5 against the Carolina Panthers, who have surrendered the fourth most fantasy points to running backs through the first four weeks. And up at number 3 is Josh Jacobs, who finally found the end zone and shined as a receiving option in Week 4. We expect them to continue on an upward trajectory this week, as the Raiders will face the Green Bay Packers, who have the third worst run defense in the league right now. Now taking a look at our wide receiver rankings, at number 12 we have Michael Pittman. Pittman really struggled last week, but this was against the Rams, who have been stout overall against wideouts. As I mentioned when discussing Anthony Richardson, the Titans are not known for their pass defense, and in fact have allowed a 100-yard receiver in three of four games. We've seen the Pittman and Anthony Richardson connection look good already, so you should be starting them with confidence on Sunday. At number 9, it's Puka Nakua, who has been incredible as a rookie. He'll get to face the Philadelphia Eagles this week, who, despite being known for their strong defensive front, have actually allowed the 6th most fantasy points to wide receivers in 2023. Even though Cooper Cup is trending in the right direction and just might play on Sunday, Nakua has established himself and remains a must-start in all fantasy lineups. Moving up to number 5, we have Jamar Chase, who started to put it together a little bit over the last two weeks after a really rough start to the season. Following last week's loss to the Titans, Chase was frustrated and exclaimed that he's always open, so don't be surprised if he gets peppered with targets this week from Joe Burrow, especially with T. Higgins looking to be on the wrong side of questionable against the Cardinals. If you drafted Chase early in the first round, this could be the big blow-up performance you've been waiting for. And at tight end, our number 11 is someone who wasn't on anybody's fantasy radar coming into the season, but Zach Ertz actually has 30 targets through four games and is quietly a top 12 fantasy tight end. He'll get a really solid matchup this week against the Bengals, who have allowed the fifth most fantasy points to the position. Coming in at number eight is Darren Waller, who's been really disappointing so far, especially when you consider the expectations that many had for his first season in New York. You might not want to bench him yet, though, as he'll face the Miami Dolphins this week, who have given up a lot of production to fantasy tight ends. Something's got to change for the struggling Giants, and we think they might start prioritizing Waller in the passing game this week. And at number three, we have Mark Andrews, who posted 80 receiving yards and found the end zone twice in week four. The Ravens have a divisional bout with the Steelers this week, and although Pittsburgh hasn't given up a ton of fantasy points to tight ends this season, they did allow a touchdown to Dalton Schultz last week, and a player as talented as Andrews is essentially matchup proof. To recap, Jordan Love could bounce back in a big way this week against a struggling Raiders secondary, while Trevor Lawrence might continue to struggle against a really tough opponent in the Bills. It's wheels up for Anthony Richardson, who's already a solidified fantasy star, and he's set up for success again this week against the Tennessee Titans. At running 
running back, Devon Achan should continue to get more touches, and he has a delightful matchup this week against the New York Giants. As does David Montgomery, who was unleashed in Week 4 and should see a ton of volume against the Panthers. Josh Jacobs appears to be back in 2022 form, and he'll look to keep it rolling against a struggling Packers run D. At receiver, Michael Pittman is likely to be the favorite target of Anthony Richardson in a plus matchup versus Tennessee. Puka Nakua isn't going anywhere. We expect him to thrive, even if Cooper Cup makes his return. And this could be the week for Jamar Chase. The squeaky wheel narrative is in full effect, and the Bengals might just be without T. Higgins on Sunday. You might not have realized that Zach Ertz has the second most targets of any tight end so far this season, and he looks like a great option this week against the Bengals. We think Darren Waller has a good shot to have his best game yet as a giant against the Miami Dolphins, and Mark Andrews remains a top three option at the position despite a tough matchup against the Steelers. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe to Rotoballer so that you don't miss out on any of our fantasy football content that'll help you win big in 2023. Thanks again for tuning in, and best of luck in your Week 5 fantasy matchups.